Hello and welcome back mm. to Is There Something in This, the podcast where I, Scott Dooley, and he, Jason Chatfield, Hello. come up with our cartoons for The New Yorker. And um, look, firstly, mm. can, so there's a few things we need to discuss yeah, just off the things. top. Sure. It's been, we've been away because of my um, selfish son. You have an infant who has no respect for the podcasting community at all. No, but ironically, he really respects people that take cocaine. <laughs> so he likes people that talk about starting podcasts but never do. <laughs> he does have that quality. He gets that from his mum. Uh, nice. I had one of those like <laughs> I had one of those nights. I wasn't doing cocaine, but I had one of those like really late nights with a mate of mine who was in town. Yeah. And it was three <laughs> o'clock in the morning, and I went into bed. It was this is the latest I've been up mm. since um, the kid was born, right? Sure. And I, according to my wife, mm. okay, so oh, here we go. not a credible witness <laughs> because I don't remember this at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I went in and said, "Honey." Me and Karen are starting a business. I woke her up to oh tell her about our drunken God. conversation. I was like, we're going to do it. We're going to solve Amateur it. Amateur mistake. <laughs> Just leave it. <laughs> Keep it to yourself until the morning when you realise it's a stupid idea. We should point out that we are uh, recording this uh, on the Friday before the US election. Correct. So if you're listening to this and you're like, hey, it's weird they're not mentioning that dog biting, you know, Bernie Sanders right. at the or, polling place. Or the apocalypse. And, you know, if you're listening to this around a campfire with buildings smoldering behind you, uh, just know that we're recording this before the election. If so. you're eating an animal that you have cooked <laughs> and someone has said, did you take the collar off this time? <laughs> did it have a leash <laughs> with a name on it? Yeah. Then, uh, listen, uh, our apologies, <laughs> we but we kind of have things to do. Grievous omission. Um, also, one other thing we should mention is that those of you watching us on Substack can actually see us on video. For this is the first time I think we've ever... Well, not including the live podcasts. Mm. You can actually see us now, our mm. faces. If you're listening to this and just walking the dog, also fine. The audio, if you're taking don't out Don't eat bins, your dog. Don't eat your dog yet. Unless, of course, you're like Jason and I and are foreigners in America. Because <laughs> according to one former your, president, your, that's what we get up to. All your cats. <laughs> all your cats. No, let's, not not picky. let's not discriminate. Uh, <laughs> that was one yeah. of the funnier bits oh of that God. whole thing. Ridiculous. He was like, they're eating the dogs. And then, <laughs> and then he was like, and the cats. Like, and Yeah, he didn't want to discriminate just in case the cat voters are a little worried. I think they've already annoyed them. Why? Well, when J.D. Vance said anyone oh, that... You know. Oh, yeah, the cat ladies. He wanted to get the cat ladies back by worry, saying that he's worried about cats. Um, of course, that was the Kamala Harris and Trump debate, which we all thought was going to be a big turning point in the election. We are like, all right, she's got it. This is going to help. This is great. And I just... I remember that feeling. You know that feeling where things just turned around and you, that thing in the pit of your stomach just kind of started to... One, you know. one thing I'm not going to miss with the election mm. being over yeah. no matter who has won sure. is I'm not going to see another one of these things like with 30,000 upvotes on Reddit right. that's like privately Donald Trump's really worried <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> oh my God. and then he comes out oh shows no signs of it yep. he's like calling people's wives <laughs> ugly and shit goldfish. <laughs> goldfish of a president <laughs> the same coloured skin um, yeah so we're you know we're, we're, we're back doing this we're also in a very interesting point in history, you and I have been, and for those of you who are only just tuning in for the first time, Scott and I do cartoons for the New Yorker magazine and for all sorts of publications. We come up, this is kind of our writer's meeting, this is our writer's room, and we often come up with, we try and come up with topical cartoons that are kind of timely, political, cultural, or the weather, um, and pitch those <laughs> often as dailies, daily cartoons for the New Yorker, which uh, we call ourselves the weathermen just casually <laughs> behind closed doors. Um, uh, it's raining jokes. <laughs> as a little weathermen reference. Little, yeah, and um, it's, it's one of those things where the New Yorker tries to not just do evergreen cartoons that run in the magazine, they run them online on the website. Um, a day of, you know, we, we ideally it's a it's an idea that's come up with that morning and then drawn up that day to run in that afternoon's uh, website. Ideally, mm. ideally, mm. doesn't always happen that way. But um, but yeah. So if you ever hear us referring to a daily or a political cartoon, that's what we're talking about. Absolutely, Lucy. Let's just get into it because mm. because I do have a couple of dailies. I just, oh, just fantastic. Right in, in lieu of. Um, 
the 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 election, not mm. in lieu of the election. Of the Instead election. of the election, we're gonna we're gonna present the American <laughs> Apropos, people these jokes. I think apropos of the election, yeah. Maybe? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Right. What yeah. have you got? Well, is there something inspired in this? by? Okay, from the twisted mind that brought you the twenty twenty <laughs> election. Is um, there something? Is in there this? something in? So so this is this mm. is just more a concept, and I don't know really know how to kind of. I don't know the execution. Okay, but is there something in? Um, like someone dating someone, okay. talking to their friend Go on. and saying, yeah. uh, oh, she's a real optimist. She made plans for after the election. <laughs> yeah, that's, <okay. laughs> you that's know? great. She's a but real optimist. It's, a bit, it's a, just a bit hand-holdy like that, but you yeah. know what I mean? Like um, is there something in the idea of optimism but mm. is believing that there will still be a republic after Tuesday? That's the level of optimism that is beyond that. Yeah, the, so today I had a friend that I was talking to in London who was saying, hey, you know, you haven't had your, um, you, you, they were talking about a 40th birthday present. They were like, hey, you know, you've always wanted to go to Scotland, do it, you know, the tour of all the whiskey. Oh, that'd be great. And I was like, yeah, that's great. Hey, I should do that. And then I realized immediately as soon as I said it, I was like, I don't know what the world's going to look like even 28 days from now. I mean, you'd be an idiot to sign up for the psoriasis pack now. <laughs> you know, you got to so, wait. <laughs> and it hit me that I can't make any plans. Literally, my calendar is blank. For the Usually I'm planning like a year ahead. My calendar is blank, dude. I have no things planned for the first time in my entire life apropos of this fucking election. Do you I really think that's related? I swear to God, subconsciously, I think I just cannot place myself or where I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing and what the world's going to look like after November 5th. As someone who's got a child, yeah. can I just... <laughs> <laughs> I do wonder what you think of that because the optimism of having a child is is an, is another... Listen, that was a rare sexual misstep from my <laughs> wife and I and we both admitted it. <laughs> So, that's I'm gonna the rare sexual misstep. What a great what a fan, that's on the record now. There we go. Yeah, watch, watch this when you're 21 and watching this, Leo. Just that's mm. anyway. So <laughs> so um, oh, yeah. There's something in that. I don't know if it's dating though. I don't know if it's she's really optimistic. It's it's the idea. Maybe it's a job interview or something like that. Where do you see yourself in five? You know, like that's the the level of optimism. Or is it is it like uh, glass half empty, glass half full plans after the election? That's good. It's just quite a simple. I love ones where and look, I know that that too sounds like it might be a little handholdy and a little labelly, but actually, or a little SS if you will. Uh, but I actually think that works better because it's easier to get there. You're not framing it and setting it up as someone who's dating. It's not a, a human the being. The dating's just an unnecessary no, step No, but it's a framing joke. Yeah, it's yeah. a framing device. Uh, you know, how's the, the assumption? Oh, what's she like? Oh, well, it's very optimistic. I mean, she's got plans for November 7th, 8th, 20th. You know, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, what, a, what, a, what an insane thing to do. So in, yeah. in, in, that, in that spirit, I've got a couple like more along those lines. Well, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Because one of the advantages now that we have of this visual um, medium is we can actually do some Oh, yeah, live. we should probably use do you wanna, that. Do you want to do that? Yeah, do you so wanna... I was thinking, okay, so, so, so you're, you're going you're gonna to start drawing this. Yeah. I, what I was... I don't know if it's like um, – I just don't – like if it's just three – like it's just two glasses that are f half full or half empty. Well, no, they're just halfway. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then the third one's just a calendar. Oh, the third one's just a calendar. Well, what do you think? I think the interesting thing about this one is like – it could be any. I mean, is it a is it a like one of those tear off like fast yeah, side yeah, like calendar a day calendar, things, yeah. a day calendar, yeah. or yeah. So glass half full, glass half empty, because it's optimist pessimist, isn't it? And then, or it's just is it a text conversation? Reservations at ten or something? I don't know. Yeah. No. How do you show that? Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, because what was the original framing? The original framing was was a couple. I had of it as talking. like they're dating, or you know, I'm talking to this person, and they're real optimists because they want to do something. Yeah, there yeah. there is also a world where this isn't a very good idea. No, <laughs> that doesn't exist. For the record, that doesn't exist. Um, that, there's no world where that there's exists. no bad ideas, just bad audiences. Um, yeah, what if it is like an empty glass? And yet that level of optimism is is the level that is required 
to make plans after the election. It's or, lower. Or, the water or, level is so lower the than counter, the other one. The counter to that is it's overflowing. That's not optimism, though. You don't require optimism for that. You cry, it's the opposite. It's like a tiny little drop. Yeah, left no, you're in the right. Glass. So it would be it would be half full. Half full, yeah. Half empty, and then this little fiddly thing, and then making plans after. The what if it's not even a glass, Jason? What if it's just a puddle next to a coaster? <laughs> <laughs> It's just a coaster. It's just a coaster with a... <laughs> that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's pretty funny. That's, yeah. And maybe... Yeah. I, I, I like... It's simpler. Like, I like being able to distill an idea down to something very simple. Just very, like... You know, like, remember we had that um, semi-dried tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, fake canned tomatoes. Like, when you've got... <laughs> I forgot that Like joke. a triad. That was one of yours. I always liked that idea. It never sold. But it had, like... It just... There's something what? very that nice. never sold? Yeah. <laughs> I always just liked the idea because it was... Uh, we had, like, six fake tan jokes in a row that we were just trying to get over the line. We never quite... I was, that was my snooky era. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going, couldn't something... That was about... a Jersey Shore. So, so just yeah. to stay on the whole mm. election and, and, and stuff like that... Um, so I've got a couple and I think this has been done okay. and I think maybe we did it, but I can't okay. remember. It oh, might sure. be an Ellis thing. Sure. Um, is, uh, is someone at the psychologist, mm -hmm. you know, the classic, the tropey on it's the couch, therapist, couch, therapist yep. couch. There you go. Great. Um, and the therapist is saying, uh, yes, it is a period in history where there are a lot of negative tri triggers, but on the bright side, I've never been busier. <laughs> I think there's something funny about a selfish therapist, like yeah. just inherently, like yeah. Or, or this one, or this one was um, well, instead of focusing on the negative, what about the positives? Like I've never been busier. <laughs> like my bank balance. Yeah, uh, I don't mind that. I don't mind a selfish, greedy-looking therapist. Um, and let me let me have a look. That is a funny. Like there is there is something inherently funny about. A therapist like bringing everything back, back to themselves. themselves. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, that's great. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I don't know how how that would. What? Yeah, I I you think that so you've got yeah the couch got all and the, the degrees. Yeah, all the degrees. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the leather, leather bound books, books and yeah, the whole yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the classic. Yeah. All that. The and Tobias Funke yeah. <laughs> look. Right. And then... I'm just trying to mic you. Yeah. And now I've, right. I've absolutely... I've also, got this mic. I've also blocked your... Uh, That's okay. Blocked your beautiful visage. I, but I like, yeah, that he's like really happy and excited. He's like, yeah, but look at the, look at the bright side. <laughs> Is there a bit of chicken fat in this of like he's got... Um, Brochures oh, for skiing, skiing vacations. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say like something like he's sitting on this like really expensive like, throne. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got a huge he's throne. He's got a massive chair. It's like a beautiful <laughs> thing. He's got like a he's got a Ming vase. He's got you know what I mean. He's got like these incredibly expensive. It's one of those very lush, you know, so this upper could west be, side. Apartments. Actually, so yeah. in in that vein, then Jace, yeah. is there a joke in Should Trump Get Up? Um, is there a joke in a psychiatrist, um, in a psychiatrist, like maybe, maybe telling the um, patient just wait, wait one second, and he's on the phone going, book the trip. He got, he won. Because <laughs> like, because this was another one which was the yeah. the un the the union of therapists right. endorsing Trump. Yeah, that's not bad. The union of, of therapists endorsing Trump is funny because they all need, they're gonna need the. The other thing is like okay, so I'm I don't know what I'm more afraid of. Maybe you can level me out here, but I don't I don't know if I'm more afraid of him winning or her winning and the fallout from his side, knowing what happened on January sixth in twenty twenty one. Which I remember you called me that day. You go, are you watching this? I'm like, I don't have a TV on. <laughs> You're like, you fucking idiot. Turn on the TV. I was drawing that day. I was drawing the book that we were working that on. We, oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. I turned on the TV and it was just like. Take a break. <laughs> take a break. Yeah, take a break. Relax. Turn take on the TV. Take your telly. mind off all this work. And I remember just watching it just in horror. Just being like, this is as bad as it gets. <sighs> but then I thought, actually, it's not. It's not as bad as it gets. Because mm. it could be much, much, much worse. And I just, I don't know what I'm more afraid of is the political violence that comes from her winning. 
or the psychological bedlam of of him winning and just the fallout of just you know uh, internationally as far as like you know geopolitical wars you know and and uh, the economy tariffs him throwing the word tariffs around the effects of the stock market do you mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Is that a joke? Mm-hmm. Is uh, one of his advisors go? I should never have taught him the word tariff. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he even knows how that works. He uses that term so often. The, okay, so so a couple of things. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Everyone listening yep. knows that everything you said didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> So, to get slightly serious, mm. are we gassed up by the me like by the media, which is such a dumb thing to say, but sure. But the, but what we consume, where the extreme outcome of any situation kind of has to be mentioned. There's a, there's a certain um, requirement in reporting that yep. if this happens, then blah blah blah. Particularly mm. in America, which is the home of the extreme yet logical conclusion sure this is the place where if you talk a bunch of guff about a group of people there is a good chance that someone is going to go and try to harm that group yeah Yeah, right like uh, it's it's the the whole the most armed country yeah 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 yeah. which in and of itself Mm -hmm. this is like we see it every day the the extreme yet logical exclusion uh, conclusion of allowing people to have a lot of weapons is that people are going to get shot on mass yeah that's that's that is the logical come to understand that that is the logical conclusion and um and it riles up people that have guns because they want to go hunting or go to the firing range or something Mm. but this is the reality Mm. And I wonder if that is playing into this f- kind of feeling of impending doom. It's a feeling of impending regardless doom, for of sure. the regardless of the outcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, okay. Do, do you know what I mean? I like, know what like, you mean. And, and I, I think it's I think it's really simplistic to be like, well, it's just the media. Like, no, but- no, no. I think there's a very visceral. There's a very, very clear and visceral like feeling in even. I mean, New York. It's a it's a blue bubble, but still, everyone just. I mean, it's it's you can feel it. It's a palpable. It's a sense of just this impending. Everyone as the day comes closer. I haven't. So this is my first year voting as a citizen. I'm a U.S. citizen now, and I'm. I keep putting it off, and I'm. I don't know what this is. Well, you're a swinging voter. Yeah, <laughs> you've made that clear with no, your statement. Swinging procrastinator is what I am. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know what it is because I don't want to be anywhere near a polling booth on on election day, which is already like a crazy thing to have to think about. Oh wait, um, sorry, I just yeah. had an idea. Yeah, a guy showing up to yeah. the polling booth, yeah. leather gimp mask ball. Sure. Yeah, uh, uh, where are the swinging voters? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why do you think all swingers are gimps? <laughs> well, I, I have mean, to convince okay. you that this is not the case. Not all swingers. Wait, why are you is all of a sudden defending swingers? Okay. Also, <laughs> is there a, is there? It, I think this might be the joke. Is um is just a bowl for the swing voters? Oh yeah. To put Undeci- their key. Undecided voters leave your keys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just undecided voters has a bowl for their keys. <laughs> and there's some like very 70s guy with yeah, like a yeah. leopard screen. Isn't that such a – is that still a thing? I mean I, it's a dated reference but I just wonder how many people get the reference of a swingers party being, you know, there's a bowl at the front of the – I guess the house or something and everyone puts their car keys in and at the end they just pull out the car keys and that's who they go home with. It's, yeah. Um, it's an old swingers party. Well, no, the, the swingers party was a uh, – Was a, it a political party? It was a seat. Plot on an episode of the OC once. Are you serious? Yeah, uh, I did not know yeah, this. Kiki and uh, oh, okay, Sandy Cohen. Wow, got invited <laughs> to the seamy underbelly in of the, the in OC. The <laughs> OC, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Not only do you get this is the greatest thing about this podcast. Not only do you get spicy tidbits about Gilmore Girls, uh, and the we most are incisive, heading into Gilmore Girls season, hundred percent. Um, <laughs> cuffing season, if you will. But, yeah, also OC tidbits. Um, so, all right, here's the other thing. I just It just occurred to me that the therapist, this has been mulling while, while I've been thinking about gimp masks and bowls with keys in them. Mm. Um, it's the therapist on the phone to his dealer saying, buy the boat. <laughs> Do it, buy the boat. And on the TV it says Trump wins by large margin or something. Like that's the... It's the therapist saying buy the boat because yeah. famously you can't buy a boat without 
being able to afford it four times over because the maintenance on a boat and the docking, all the extra costs associated with buying a boat are yeah. so ex- extraordinary. It's one of the most expensive things a human being can do, even if they're Jeff Bezos, like a super yacht or whatever. It's mm. the most expensive right. liability. He'll be okay. Uh, he'll be on an island in New Zealand if Trump wins. Um, yeah, so I feel like that the boat might be a funnier – also sounds pretty funny. Buy the boat. Yeah, buy the boat. Because book the trip – no, no, also no, you're right. It makes it seem like he's li- skipping the country. Yeah. Because everyone keeps no, yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, skipping yeah, yeah. the country if he wins. And, yeah. Um, by the boat's kind of funny. I think the idea, like, and there if it's, it's like, or, or is it even like, um, because cause remember this, my the, now this is my thing where everyone's listening going, well, that didn't happen. My theory is we're not going to have a conclusive result until Thursday or Friday. Sure. If last if if the last election was anything to go by, yeah, I think it was right. Saturday. It was Saturday Angel when on Saturday. Saturday on yeah yeah yeah. Um, so yeah, so if yeah the psycho. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Is it like I've seen the exit polling? Let's get the boat. But then we're in very SS territory if it's like we're having to write like you know Dr. John psychologist no. on the on the on the you know he's no, I mean, he's hung his shingle. No, I think we have the chalange, the, um, the therapist couch here, and the and the armchair with the uh, clipboard. You know, like it's all in there. All the all the hallmarks of our therapists. Oh yeah, and all the hallmarks of one of our cartoons, which is television explaining reference. <laughs> Which is always a classic. Yeah, that that. There was, I realized the other day, I think someone, we've got like five or six in the New Yorker. Yeah, that are that. That's so funny because the other day someone looked up. I, I did the old um, when they were like, "Oh, would I know in any of your work?" And you go, "Oh, you, you know, I've been Mad Magazine and bits and pieces of the New Yorker." And mm. they go, "Oh, the New and Yorker." They, and you go, "I'm in Mad Magazine." And they go, "Well, I am an adult woman and not a <laughs> eleven year old boy, not a year old boy <laughs> hiding magazines under my mattress." Um, and they're like, oh, the New Yorker, that's great. Yeah, what, what I know in your stuff? I'm like, oh, no, no, you, you know, there's some stuff. They're Googling it on their phone as I'm talking. That's always fun. Always good. And the, it's and I'm seeing like it's scrolling through all of our cartoons that we've done for the dailies and stuff. I think eight out of ten, <laughs> it's a TV explaining <laughs> the, the news event with, the, with a crawler, with the crawler yeah. and a news. So, like, yeah, and even if it's not, the TV's in there somewhere. And it's yeah. like, you know, and it's and it's... It's, um, I think it was Trump um, uh, looking at a bunch of ch- child, uh, like student protesters. There's the um, Super Bowl was Super Bowl, one of them. Yeah, don't call first, that's a sign of weakness. And I'm going through, I'm like, boy, we've got a lot of these things. But here's the other thing. What it does is, and this is something that political cartoonists always have trouble with, is that when you don't know what the news story was of the day, it kind of doesn't stand on its own like historically you look back and you go what, what the hell was that about was Nixon did Nixon lose a tooth like what is this cartoon but if it has on the TV the actual thing or there's a, it used to be um, especially in Australia the trick used to be like having a newspaper in the background with the headline Oh, so that if you syndicated the cartoon, doesn't matter what the reference was, it, you would see what the news story. <laughs> or was you just clearly mark the petulant child as Europe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy holding the briefcase is the IRS. The or, IRS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, a bird called the Economy is swooping. It's like, it doesn't I make think any sense. It's a giant steamship <laughs> giant going towards an iceberg <laughs> named, <laughs> named, named recession. recession. <laughs> um, oh, shout out to Kelly at the shout at the out onion. to Kelly. Yeah, who actually um, Kelly is doing um, ex- exhibition. Ex- in LA at the moment. Um, go and check it out. It's very, very good. Yes. Um, so yeah, they were kind of my they were kind of my daily ones. Mm, okay. F- for my um, and I'll, I'll quickly. So one of them, I think you won't particularly like. Oh no. Okay. So I was watching. Actually, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna give you the whole like advertising agency. You know, you know, like, have you ever been in an advertising agency when they're um, they're showing their finished product, like they've yeah. made an ad, yeah, 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 and they sit down with the client, and they go, "Here's our thirty second spot," and right. then before they show the thirty second spot, there's a forty five minute PowerPoint presentation oh where they talk about the demographics preamble. and and listen, Action Bronson's really hot amongst <laughs> eighteen to thirty fours, <laughs> what 34s. we think, and yeah, he's edgy, but he's you know, blah blah blah, yeah. and blah, blah, you, you know, all that stuff, and then they show the ad, yeah, and I always think to myself. I would always think to myself, 
We are not going to be showing no. the person preamble. at home a 45 minute preamble mm-hmm. about, you know, how Action Bronson has a cousin that lives in Queens totally. and that's why this works. Yeah. Show the ad and then justify its existence. Don't do it the other way around. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. One salmon <laughs> swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, I knew that you talking, justifying talking this was going to be a fucking talking animal. The minute you started justifying this, have you ever been in an ad agency? Oh, this sounds like a very and interesting little analysis. of No, it's a fucking talking animal. I knew it. Anyway, go on. Well, do you want to hear what he's got to say I or mean, not? Whatever. Go All right. On. So one salmon to another salmon, yeah. and they're like swimming upstream. Right? Uh-huh. It's like, and he goes, um, "Do you ever get deja vu?" <laughs> That's so annoyingly <laughs> shit, is it? Is that annoyingly bad or is it clever? Oh, I think it's annoyingly bad because um, it is. Cl- I mean, I, you know, my immediate go to is, um, oh, has that been done? Um, but I don't think it's been done. I think it's funny. I think it's, that's it's so. Okay, all right, hang on. So it's salmon clearly swimming upstream to go and spawn, Sam- yeah. and die. Well, yeah, okay. So. Right. So that, that is so got the, the 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 rapids, you know the um, yeah 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 they're, they're going, going upstream and there's, there's a bears bear, there's a bear here yeah, yeah there's bears and he's yeah. you know he's at the edge there with the you know he's got the mm, yeah and uh, and then there's a stream there's lots of lots of white water and then we're looking under the surface of the water here right yeah and it's the salmon just, just having a chat. <laughs> you know, as they do. They're, they're always gabbing, gabbing about something. Those yeah, they're always gabbing fish. those salmon. That's why they taste so good. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> the Oceans, oceans Talk Show host, they call them. <laughs> the Oceans <laughs> Talk Show. The, the Oceans <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> the Jimmy of the Sea. <laughs> Jimmy of the Sea, that's great. Oh, man. Yeah, there's something about it. Yeah, do you ever yeah. get deja vu? Oh, I just got the weirdest deja vu. Oh, or... yeah, I got... Oh, do you ever get deja vu? Do you ever get deja vu versus I just got deja vu? Yeah, do you get deja vu? What's the – because uh, I think one of them might be a more common fra- like phrase, like, oh, I just got the weirdest sense of or is it, or, or is there something like, were we just here? Or, or like like the idea of like – No, I like the word deja vu in there. I think that's doing the a lot of lift. I think it's doing yeah, a lot yeah, of Yeah, 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 yeah. And got, it's also just pretentious enough for people for, to, yeah. you know, just oh, a hint of French. Right up the New Yorker's alley. So <laughs> – and if not, the Paris Reveal by it. <laughs> I, I wish the Also, Paris see you on the mound, Paris Reveal. We're going <laughs> to yes. smoke you. You're dead, I see you. Um, oh, we should point out, that's not us threatening the staff no, of Paris no, Review. Another fine condemnation sure. <laughs> publication. No, we, we play softball for the New Yorker every, against those mutts. Every <laughs> <laughs> beat us every year. Yeah, every summer the, the we play in the New Yorker softball team against or like uh, Esquire and Rolling Stone and Paris Review. Do you know why? It's our own those. fault for losing. We, why you lose? Because we got all mm. those guys from the New York Yankees to be ringers. <laughs> Hopeless. <laughs> Too soon. Too fucking soon. <laughs> Scott and I went out on Monday night to watch game three with all of the – we were so Drunk. pumped. So, yeah, pumped. Sorry. So, <laughs> <laughs> we were. We were so excited and it was like a bit, we had a, went out for a big dinner and had a great time. Then we go to this amazing place. You know, it was a great bar in New York. We watched the Yankees game, full of Yankees fans, just all the anticipation in the world. And it's what I anticipate – 2016 to be in New York City during the election in November. Yeah. But, like, just the – the feeling of just everyone's stomach sinking in unison as we lost another, the third game in a row, which is only second to watching on Wednesday night. Just five, the fifth five inning. zero up is un- five up is, and it was the best feeling in the world. And then losing that in the quickest way possible. When Judge dropped that, oh my I was God. like, all right, He's that's never done. That for the that's rest of his done. Life. That's going on his headstone. Yeah. One of the worst innings in the history of baseball, truly. Really, yeah, yeah, it's, really, it's, yeah. genuinely upset. There were a lot of those, like so bad. It's it's like and and don't the baseball commentators love? Oh, like I don't, I don't man. follow the game as as closely as right. Jason. I but 
they love a throwback to some guy that's got an insane nickname. Yes, they like, do. Like there's a yeah. shoeless someone or yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. Hapless, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, um, not since Three Thumbs Johnson. Yeah. Why was he called? And then you're on Wikipedia. Giddy Wilson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in 1593. Like he just used to be really positive, so they <laughs> thumbs up all the time. <laughs> it's insane. It goes back to 1634 baseball. It's a crazy, crazy game. Um but it's the, it charts the whole history of America better than most. Um, all right, Ken Burns, save right. it for your documentary. <laughs> hey, I, okay. speaking of a daily, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, guy at a bar, okay, holding court, yep, bit of a you know, bit of a prick, yep. And he goes, well, as well as viral immunology, Olympic diving, figure skating, and gymnastics, I'm actually something of an expert on the electoral college. <laughs> You know those things. The, the electoral oh college God. is one of those things we it's should remember. Such a specific thing. As every four years, mm. you know, every four years we all got oh, too much splash. Yeah, yeah. Every four years we're like, oh, did you see his hands on the rotation <laughs> at the moguls? <laughs> oh, his knees much. went. Apart. We're all experts at diving, yeah, yeah, skiing yeah, in the winter, skiing really, in the winter, in the and the electoral college. And then, of course, in during COVID, everyone was an immunologist. Um, yeah, I it's think it's pretty well worn. We path, had though, a, I think I we think. had a daily at one point. I don't know if it got up, but I can't remember if it was the, so just the people walking, the couple in the park walking, just saying, I just, I forgot how many of my family are immunologists. Yeah, like, that was, forget. yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's a pretty well worn path, to be honest. It's not, it's not a particularly fresh insight. Yeah, but it's true. That's, that's the worst part about it is that it's true. Every, everyone just becomes a, an armchair expert at, the, one of the most complex political... Hey, um, mm. do you want to draw God getting arrested? Always. You know me. All right. So here's... This is the idea. I okay. don't know how... I don't I'm know how we execute it, it. while you're explaining it. Okay. So it's God and he's being <laughs> taken away and he's being charged with cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> like, like God's up for war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't know what I don't know. Like, is it one step too far? Is it? Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, how how are we showing that it's cruel and unusual? Can you can you? So how are we showing the charges? Is he is he walking into court? I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe he's walking into court. The, can you put like with? light beams coming off God? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you know when he speaks in his defense, like all the windows are going to shatter. <laughs> Everyone <defense>. dies. <laughs> no one can the hear the purity of his voice. The defense rested on a Sunday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's terrible. Um, yeah, is he in? Is You're he now in a court? co-defendant of God for that joke. Yeah. Uh, it's terrible. Uh, is is he being arrested in heaven? And is the is the um, is the policeman saying like you you have a right? To an attorney, anything you can say, you can and will be used against you. That it's that is it at that moment, and he's saying you're being charged with the crime of unusual, uh, cruel and unusual cruel punishments. And, yeah, God, you're under arrest for cruel and unusual. <laughs> it's so funny, God, you're under arrest. You it's like you'll right never get me. It's, it hasn't been documented anywhere. Yeah. Actually, it's in the it's in the first. Testament. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I didn't realize you were such a theologian. <laughs> it's in the first the, testament. The, the old, I think you'll find, but uh, I don't want to. A- I don't want to um, age shame uh, the Bible. So, oh, the Bible suing for ageism is pretty funny. Yeah, that's not bad. Age, yeah, Old Testament. Hey, come uh, on. Um, uh, it's age for ageism. Um, or the Old Testament's buying like an RV. Just take a trip. But the charge is it is it not the gallows? What do you call it? when God is he is he on the stand or is he you know is he is it the you know when um, all rise for the um, for the sentencing and the judge for the charge of cruel and unusual punishment the jury finds the defendant. Turns the defendant. Yeah. I. Is that too much? Is it a hat on a hat? It's a bit of a hat. Yeah. I just maybe maybe we're not guilty for the crime of a. Un- a cruel and unusual punishment, or or or, or is it? Um, I don't know. Is it someone making the announcement? We've put a warrant out for God. Is it wanted? Is it a wanted poster? <laughs> cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> cruel and unusual. That could yeah, be. It. It's it. a wanted poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah, for the crime. Of, yeah. But then, what's the image? I mean, it's go- you is know the what's image funny? like a sunrise? No, it's, <laughs> you know, they always say it's or it's like. You know, like a, a human eye. I know. I still. I like the idea of it being a mugshot for something. Oh, he's been arrested. <laughs> he's already been else. arrested. He got in a fight at a Phillies preseason. 
at spring training. <laughs> he went to he went out of spring training, got licked up on Mike's hard lemonade, yeah, and on, <laughs> punched the third base coach. Had to meet a great. After too much ambrosia. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, I think a wanted poster might be the go because I like wanted poster. Yeah. yeah wanted, and then like, it's him and it's his mugshot. <laughs> For the crime God, of... God's mic shot is very funny. Hey, can we have him like 40 foot tall? Oh, yeah. 40 <laughs> like foot. So, like, yeah, yeah. Like, that's funny. Where they've got all the heights next to the. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. And he's got the long hair. He's got to fill his hat. No, he's got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not bad. There's something Do not there. approach. Do the, not approach. Yeah. <laughs> I'm too dangerous. The defendant is pious and dangerous. Pious and dangerous. <laughs> oh my god. There's a lot of scope there. I mean, God, uh, God cartoons. It's its own genre in the New York. If you go to the New Yorker collections, there's an entire section on um, Pearly Gates and God cartoons. You and I did one a while ago, which was apropos of the election. Um, the sort of um, red state looking guy in his plaid and his MAGA hat and he's kind of toothless with a beard. <laughs> you really lent into that. Really yeah. lent into it. Yeah. Just um, me, oh, I, I went with the uh, surgeon who just told it like it is. Uh, oh, that yeah, was, that was during COVID. Yeah, yeah, we did a lot of that kind of do your own research kind yeah. of Aaron Rodgersy yeah, well, stuff. Yeah, well, he might be crap. Oh, he tells it like it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so Joe Rogan's a doctor. Great. You know. <laughs> Okay, I got two more for Go you. On. All right, this will be very quick. I'm sorry to have no, taken no, up so much time. Okay, drill sergeant, mm. right? Yeah. This is this this one. Um, this one, I th- I don't know how you do the perspective, but it's a drill sergeant going down the the line of new recruits. Yeah. You know, like the you got a bad, ma-, you know, you, is mm-hmm. it what's your major malfunction kind of oh, you know okay, that yeah, yeah, kind yeah, yeah, of guy, yeah, yeah. Right. screaming in people's faces. Um, and he's saying to he's saying to the group, "This ain't gonna be no picnic, right?" So yeah, he's like he's like very aggressive, very in people's face. And then we've got the line of recruits, and at the end of the line, there is a guy who is very clearly prepared for a picnic, <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a picnic basket. He's got a little bottle of wine, maybe the plaid rug, the thir- the tartan thermos. You know, he's ready for a picnic. Everyone else is in full fatigues except this one cat who's just at the end of the line and he's like, he looks he looks mortified. He thought he was coming, signing up for a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> and now... <laughs> That's good. He's terrified. Everyone else is in. Everyone else, everyone else is in standard issue, proper haircuts. You know those, you know those dumb little hats they wear? Yeah, there you go. Um... Yeah. They're not dumb little hats. That I think you guys, if you're, if you you're, if you, if you, if, thank you for your service. Um, yeah, no, you look great. Um, but I just, I just don't have a, a head for hats. Therefore, I, I, think you're, I lash I mean, out. You, I lash out. Um, <laughs> yeah, that looks great. That's funny. <laughs> barracks up here. <laughs> just, oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that a turret? <laughs> <laughs> it is a turret. Correct. Um, and then the, the monkey bars. The monkey bars. Gotta put the monkey bars in there. It's a training camp. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Boot yeah, camp yeah, yeah. is. Yeah, it's the know. boot camp. Yeah. It's and he's just like, oh, no. I've got, he's ready. I've got a little bottle of wine. Yeah, he's probably yeah, a little bottle of wine. He's, he's got his <laughs> linen slacks on. And he's got, he's got the thermos, and he's also he's got a little bottle of Shiraz. He's got some. And yeah, there we go. And he's got. I think there's something here. I think there's something, I think in, there's that. something in that joke. Yeah. And the last one this ain't is. Be no picnic. Is the, that what? Is that the line? This ain't gonna be no picnic. Yeah. Um, and then the the last one is a sniper on a roof. He's got comms in, and he's speaking into the comms, and he's got one of those. Um, he's got one of those. You know those laser sights. Sure. Yeah. I don't think you need to draw this because it's so... It's just mm-hmm. the guy and he's saying into the comms, you said nothing about cats. <laughs> <laughs> Which is... I don't know. Is that such a well-worn path, that one? Um, I'm going to get a beer while you discuss yeah, yeah, how yeah, funny yeah, they're in the fridge. Um, so here's... Whenever I think of cartoons about... First of all, any cartoons about guns, I think about... Uh, the POV, uh, like what are we showing? How do we? Sh- is it is it from the perspective of the shooter? Is it b- from the perspective of the reticle? Like the the um, what do you call it? The um, the 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 eyepiece thing. The the 
but I don't know what you would call it. Crosshairs. Crosshairs. Um, do you have an opener? Oh, I do, yeah. Um, is it the – actually, the opener's on the fridge, sorry. Oh, okay. um, it, yeah, and also, like, I think about the – is he – so he's on the roof, flat, on his stomach. He's all set up with the little tripod thing for the for the sniper thing. And is he, he's putting his finger to his ear. Is that – yeah, sort and of it's saying, like, you, it's you, like you didn't said, say they had a cat or something. You never something. said anything about them having a cat. Yeah, yeah. Like maybe he's maybe he's like in all black or something. Like yeah. he's not a. Um, oh, is it? Is he a spec he, ops dude? Is yeah, he like yeah, a, like he's a has hit he got man the goggles on with the like the you know the the night vision goggles with the you know like real the the jo- I mean, or is he a sniper? I don't know what the difference. What's the well? The difference is the, 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 the joke the, is the laser is attracting cats. Right. Well, yeah, and they both, but both of them have like his sides. his backstory. Yeah. I didn't get too deep into. Okay, so I think here's what I think. He had a images. weird relationship with his dad, and he wanted to prove that he was tough, so he got into the army. That yeah. didn't work out. So then he went into the private contracting. Before he knew it, he was a hitman. <laughs> it all happened so quickly yet subtly. You happy now? What's he yeah. wearing? <laughs> so that's funny. So. Yeah, I think um, the image is of the Spec Ops guys walking into an operation. It's a, it's one of those like taking out. It looks like a palace, like they're taking out an Argentinian <laughs> president. You know what I mean? Like, like a Venezuelan dictator. But, but one of the like the there's the rest of them moving in unison, like across the, uh, you know, towards the target. But yeah. the other guy is just like clearly the cat is doing that. <laughs> <laughs> against the wall. Oh, I didn't even have that. I guy, just had him just the, like Yeah, that's well, funny. You know, like, yeah. I I like it. You know my favorite cartoon is a captionless cartoon. And it's the it's the laser pointer the the Oh, um, yeah, that's funny. The Spec Ops guy just laser pointer. Yeah, yeah, and your man can't get it. Yeah. All right, that's me. You I've, I've taken no, up no, way too much great. time. I think that's funny. I like that idea. Um, can I I'm going to draw just so that I can sort of talk my way through that one just just so I can sort of see it. Oh, okay, um, cool. I'm going to draw that one. The rest of the SWAT team, right? They've got their guns and their, you know, goggles. They're clearly in some palace, so like you would show these big ornate picture frames with like yeah. you know, the the portrait of the Venezuelan like Pinochet or something. Yeah, exactly with a moustache, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they they're creeping along, you know. They're all they've all maybe there's two of them. And then and they're going towards the target, right? Over this mm. way. It's dark, you know, there's there's like a one of those plinths with a vase on it. There's always a vase. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> and that these guys haven't noticed <laughs> that this guy Mm. Is has got his rifle with the laser. And oh, is he like mucking around with the cat? Well, I don't know if he's mucking around with it, but now the cat is like. That's pretty funny. You know, like the cat's playing with the laser pointer. So, sort of, like, in the through the way that it's like read it left to right, what is happening? It's a spec. It's this weird mission. And then something's happened over here. Where is, it, like, is, is there something just like, just to expand on this as an idea? Because the, it's pretty violent imagery. Well, I mean, yeah, it's the, the setup is, but this silliness, like him waggling the, <laughs> the laser pointer. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like, so it's clearly moving around. It's not, he's not shooting the cat. He's like playing with it. What about like, where else do you see lasers? Like, uh, I think I've tag? seen Cats. it. <laughs> Laser tag with cats is pretty funny. That's pretty funny. What if it's a bunch of cats about to go into a laser tag game? Like just all, they've got their gear on and everything and it's just like, oh, this is going to be bedlam. This is going to be horrible. Yeah. Bunch of cats in laser tag, ready to go to laser tag? Or is it, is it say, is it a, is it a laser tag place saying no cats? Or like, you know, like out front and saying. Or LASIK surgery. Laser, yeah, yeah, LASIK, uh, no cats. Oh, is it a cat? Like, is like, it a is it cat cats? getting lasik? No, is it cats? <laughs> is it like four cats in a trench coat, like trying to get their going to get lasik surgery? They know there's a laser back there. That's pretty funny. Yeah, a bunch of cats lined up, like for laser trying to surgery. sneak into a. Yeah, there's something. X-rated film or something. something that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there's something about cats sneaking into a laser. <laughs> 
or a la- what's it, a laser removal? You know, there's every second spa thing is like laser eyebrow. Oh, hair, la- or laser yeah, that's hair interesting. Removal. Laser hair removal. Oh, what if it's what if it's like a queue of cats, <laughs> right? Yeah, and yeah. they're all queued around the block for mm. laser hair removal, mm. and then a bald cat is walking out. But now we're in pussy territory. I'm afraid now we're in pussy yeah, territory. Sorry, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're in. Pussy. <laughs> We need a, a sound effect. You made it the <laughs> pussy zone. <laughs> 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 oh my God. That's pretty funny. Okay. Um, I And look, some of these are a little half-baked, which is why I bring them to the pod, um, because I want to run them through your filter and see if there's anything in this. <laughs> I was like, no. Nah, you got nothing this week, dude. <laughs> <laughs> is there something in this? Is there something in the idea... Of, um, you know, because LA is three hours behind. I've got a lot of friends. There's been a lot of churn. Anyone who moves to New York knows that they lose friends to LA. That's just what happens, especially if you work in entertainment or where, you know, it's, it's it just eventually friends move to LA. It's what happens. Um, it's three hours behind. Mm-hmm. It's same Perth to Sydney, same landmass, three hours behind. So if you have friends in LA, they're calling you at 9 p.m. Because they're just finishing up their day. It's uh-huh. 9 p.m. here, it's 6 mm-hmm. p.m. there. And I've got clients and friends and stuff like that out in L.A. who just, you know, have no compunction. But they've got no problem just calling you at 11 o'clock at night. So, hey, you know, man, you're, yeah, no, I'm going to bed. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, no, I'm just get, getting started for the night. Mm-hmm. Is it that New York is the city that never sleeps because, because of LA, L.A. keeps calling? Oh, that's a funny idea. <laughs> yeah. I- New York, the city that never sleeps because L.A. keeps calling. Is there something in that? The the time zone thing mm. is kind of timely because we're going yeah. into daylight out of daylight Sunday. savings on I think Sunday, on Sunday yeah. and we're as established recording mm. this on a Friday. Right. Um, on a Friday, original name for Radiohead. On a Friday. On a Friday was the name of that no, band. Look at that. Mm. You got Gilmore Girls. You got a bit of OC. A little bit of Radiohead. Nice. I mean, we got listen. If you're white, you have enjoyed the <laughs> shit out of this. <laughs> you're very. You've well- understood. Everything. You're very welcome, Derek. Um, anyway. Yeah, Jason and Scott, they're two. <laughs> yeah, two of the whitest names in history. Um, yeah, the time difference mm. is... So I, I once had this idea about how... And it's it's probably... It's, it's not kind of a very kosher topic to play with. Mm. But the idea that, like, when LA wakes up... Yeah. Particularly when Trump had first gotten in, right. and so much stuff was oh, like just so two much new cycles stuff already. was happening. Yeah, and they wake up yeah. and they're like, what? "You guys have been up for three hours. Yeah, he has already called. Oh, he's done. Oh, to burn it down." Yeah. And that's where all the wildfires came from. They're like, yeah. "Forget just, it. Just fuck it. <laughs> just start burn it again. down. Just burn it down." Um. Yeah. The yeah that that. Uh, There's something there. The idea that once. Trump's in and LA's three hours behind. The amount of uh, malarkey that could happen, <laughs> sorry to use Joe Biden's term, uh, the amount of shenanigans that could happen in three hours um, while everyone's been up, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Um, I just like maybe New York's a city that never sleeps because he just, it's just never, now we can't, we can't, it's, it's, we can't sleep. There's no, it's just the Statue of Liberty and she just looks bedraggled and so fucking tired and exhausted by all of this. Just like, fuck this. Mm. City that doesn't sleep. City that never sleeps. Um, gonna slip you an Ambien. Uh, mm. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just the, I, I think it's, the idea is that the city never sleeps just because LA keeps calling. LA, LA wakes you up. Friends in LA will wake you up. That is the truth of the matter. And it happens all the time. I should just put my phone on silent, but I don't. Yeah, I feel Go you, to bed. you could be contributing to that somehow. A little bit, but then what happens if something happens in LA? What if the big one happens and then I'm like, ah, I slept through it. I, <laughs> yeah, you'd never know about it. Watching too many films with The Rock in it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just Have you noticed like when, when, when you're watching a movie, mm. if he's billed as The Rock, mm. you're going to see some serious... Stuff. Yeah. Whereas if he's, but if he's Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson, Johnson, you're like, oh, he's he's gonna be looking after a kid. 
<laughs> somewhere. He's gonna be a dad. If he's in a if he's in an A twenty four film, like yeah. yo, Ooh. Rock's about to get cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Rock cancer. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah. Or is there something in like people from LA kind of wanting to know what's gonna happen? It's like it doesn't work that way. Oh, like that's in the funny. next three hours. Oh yeah, so so they so after the election, after the polls close, they're like calling LA for, calls they're calling New for York? like race tips and stuff. <laughs> Just like sporting almanac <laughs> level. Yeah, they do, they're getting real biff. <laughs> <laughs> who win, who wins in the third yeah. at, F- at Flemington? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, hey, you reckon Curry's gonna score more than thirty tonight? <laughs> that's we so don't dumb. know. That's so dumb. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, that's very funny. Someone calling New York, just going, ah, oh, did he win? Um, yeah, that's not. That's very silly. That's very. Let silly. me think about that. I, I think yeah. there is something with the the time difference. So the obvious jokes mm. are, and it doesn't really well, work with that. Well, we throw like, out the obvious ones so that we can get to the yeah. Like the obvious ones are like the. Um, you know, they're three hours and 60 years behind if it's a bit of a hick town or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, right. LA doesn't have that. Mm. Um, the idea, you know, what do they do with that extra three hours? They wait in traffic or something. That's pretty hacky. Mm, mm, um, yeah. Uh, and when I say pretty hacky, I mean the most hacky. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do with those three hours? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. So is there something in this? It's a mall Santa protest. Mm-hmm. And instead of hey hey ho ho, it's just <laughs> <laughs> you know you know the rest of that joke. What <laughs> if it is a mall Santa Ramones cover band? <laughs> ho ho, let's go. <laughs> uh, that that has to have been done. That is I a mean, T-shirt on Canal Street. Has it must, to be. I don't know because I looked at you know every time I come up with an idea, I just don't trust myself. And I'm like, this has got to be, come on, someone's got to have done this one. I, I wish everyone that it. was published in the New Yorker yeah. had that attitude. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <clears throat> tell me about it. By the way, if this is your job, if you do this as a job, if you come up with ideas for the New Yorker, maybe turn this off. This is not a great idea for us to be in your brain. Hey, hey, ho, ho, mall Santa protest. Um, I just, because you remember what I What if it's that- hey, hey, ho, ho, ho? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the That's joke? That's it. That's probably it. <laughs> That's probably it. I guess. I don't think it's any more complex than that. Hey, Just hey, ho, ho, ho. Itchy beards have got to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> don't. Pissing kids. Uh, this is that, that uh, trope of kids pissing on laps. Of mall centers. What? Yeah, kids, that's a trope. Kids, yeah, just like wetting themselves on the the lap. They sit on Santa's lap and they're like, "Oh, hey, Santa," you know. And then Santa, someone obviously pisses. Um, I don't know what it is. Are uh, you literally getting a phone call from LA? As we're right, currently getting a phone call from LA <laughs> because they're three hours behind. They just woke up. Um, all right. Is there anything in this? Mm-hmm. Um, all anyone talks about on the phone at the airport is how long it took the Uber to get to the airport. Is there like a sign? Is there a sign, like a section, like a smoking section, but it's a section for people to talk about how long the Uber got took to get to the airport? Maybe it's a sign. Yeah. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, sorry, when I say... No, no, like says, TSA, clear, and then like these different lines. You know, no, I think it's when you're leaving. Lines. It's like taxis, Ubers, Lyft, or it says rideshare, taxis. Ride share, yeah. Taxis, shuttle, rideshare. Yep. Uh, something about how long a ride should Because there, there's still in some airports like little smoking sections, like little booths that people walk yeah, into yeah, with yeah, a little yeah. sliding door. You yeah. got people going to have a smoke. It's it's like that, but people going in to have a kvetch about how long it took the Uber to get them to the airport kind of thing. Like a section because it's all anyone. Anyway, like I was I was delayed in LA for about six hours and I'm sitting there. My For some reason my Should have called New York. Should have called New York. I should have called New York. <laughs> should have bothered someone. Hello, New York. York? Jason. <laughs> How do you like it? You're on the air. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I just, I was overhearing so many conversations and every single one, I'm not even, like with no exceptions, every single one was talking about how long it took them to get to the airport, to LAX. Because uh, getting to LAX is one thing. Getting from... The line of yes. cars to the terminal no, is a totally different. It's another th- forty-five I, minutes. I swear I, to God. So, so, so I, I think that is the insight, and yeah. that is universal. That's yeah. every airport on the planet. Pretty the much. The second I mean, you get into that into yeah. that departures ramp to oh go up, you think you're there. 
you're it's a ma- it's a mirage is what it is now that's interesting. Yeah, you think you're at the airport, <laughs> son. You have no idea. You've got another forty five minutes till you get to your terminal. You know what I mean? Like your departure gate. Yeah, then maybe that's the like. Is that the, the mirage? The, maybe not a mirage. Well, yeah, mirage is pretty funny, but mm. the like you know when you're on a like. In a queue for mm-hmm. just a big so, shout out to Morris, so out Morris out saying there. hello yeah. to for it. Yeah. Um, he's got an idea. He's asking if the, the um the the you know when you're on a, a in line for a ride. Can I also mm. just point out? Mm. Just you know how I keep stuttering and forgetting Always, things. Yes. <laughs> we Ashika and I have been so Ashika's my wife. We've been so tired. And mm. so forgetful lately. Yeah, you do have a child. You have an infant child. That we were like, oh, our thought was like, oh, okay, I know what's going on here. We have a gas leak in our house. <laughs> we honestly had that conversation. We're like, that's the only logical reason for that's us. Me, funny. When you're on a ride at a theme park, it tells you how long you've got or in oh, customs queues. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How long you've got to wait. And yeah. is there something in the guy? <laughs> Like outside the terminal, but it says it's 45 minutes. See, for some reason, like the guy always wants to go. Yep, yep. No, there's something there. There's something in that. There's, there's The idea of that getting to the airport isn't getting to the airport. It's just getting to the line at the airport. When you when you call an Uber, you think, oh, yeah, it's 45 minutes to the airport mm. and then another 45 minutes to get yeah, to the yeah, actual yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There was, I was just sort of dancing around that idea while I was waiting to get to the fucking terminal. It was just one of those things. I was like, oh, there could be something in this. Um, and everyone I talk to about it has their own version no, of the story. That's, and, that, and that's why it's such a great, it's right. such a great place to play, right? Yeah, like it, it's yeah, something yeah, yeah. everyone relates to. Yeah. And it's every airport. I mean, even the most efficient airports in the world. I was in Japan in September and every airport, like the most efficient, I swear to God, the most efficient airport in the entire world, Tokyo. Mm. Amazing airport. Even they can't figure out humans en masse trying to get somewhere. You know and why? Why? It's because it's all tourists going to the airport. Well, yeah, exactly. It's not It's not amazingly organised Japanese people. It's, uh, it's, it's all uh, people d- d- not from Japan. Can we also just say this? Mm. You know, we're like, oh, the Japanese is so efficient. Right? No, 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 no. no, it's just like if you treat people around you like a human being, yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, that's true. That's like, true. like they, there was a, there was this study where they showed mm. um, ants when they were, you know, when ants are building a colony, they sure. they're all single file, and these guys are taking this shit out, and these yeah. guys are taking this shit in, and blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah. And then they compared it to people trying to merge onto like a bridge or oh something in a car. And they In said, Perth. and they said, <laughs> they go. The issue is, is that humans are too selfish. Yeah. it would be way quicker if you just let the guy in. Of course, everyone's going to benefit. Of course, the Japanese do this all the time, and it's flawless traffic. It's amazing. They mm. never have traffic jams. They're always letting each other, and it's perfect. It's perfect. I think traffic. they never have traffic jams. Maybe at Grosset over. Again. I mean, I I didn't see one the whole time I was there, and I was driving at peak hour on a highway. It was. I swear to God, I've never seen traffic jams. I mean. Were you in a Granted. taxi? A, no, no, no. A Toyota Crescita. <laughs> you know, they're all Toyota Crescitas with doilies on the headrests yes, and shit. The doilies. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. a throwback. Yeah. Um, the guy's got those like white gloves that are saved yep. for for drivers from the 30s or, or people with right, really bad dermatitis so they can't yeah. itch themselves. Or gallerists at the Metropolitan Museum. Yeah, someone, <laughs> someone handling the, the Melbourne Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, or some, yeah. Um, oh, you want to buy this Rolex? Here, let me put these uh, unnecessary <laughs> gloves on. <laughs> That's the thing as well. If yeah. you're buying a watch, yeah, oh, yeah, this yeah. thing's going to outlast religion. Right. But you can't touch it without gloves. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Why, what of will course. happen? Yeah. You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something in this? And this might be very... I, I'm, I'm trying to be playful with this, but it's a it's this time making any reference so this is a very sensitive time it always is <laughs> but because you just said you just said this watch is going to outlast religion which is hilarious by the way um as a Ken phrase joke right from now. kenny 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 the movie the australian oh, film the australian kenny. Kenny. shane kenny. jacobson wrote that joke yeah i, to, used to, I fell shouts. for it shout out to shane jacobson i actually took my dad to see that film and he's still like it doesn't matter how much i told him he was an actor he's like nah he's real i've seen him before i sent him the melbourne cup i'm like no dad he's, it's an actor it was a mockumentary he's like nah, 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 i've seen that guy because shane like, jacobson yeah. promoted that film by show so the the, yeah. the film is about this Fantastic guy who was film. a um portaloo guy. portaloo guy yeah. like he was yeah. a sewerage dude and he was like a bit of a bogan but mm-hmm. he was had a heart of gold and everyone mm. loved him and it was played by shane jacobson yeah. written by shane jacobson an australian comic very funny guy mm. 
Um, but he did press for that by getting around as Kenny yep. for like years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At he the was screening like, we were at. He was dressed as Kenny doing Q and A after the yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. waxed on the overalls. Yep. What do you want to know? And yeah. then he's like, "Yeah, we had a real interesting kind of dichotomy." You're like, don't, dude, you can't be saying the word dichotomy in yeah, those yeah. overalls. In overalls. Um, so there, there. I don't know. And again, I want to be super. I just want to flag this one. I know it's sensitive, but I'm trying <laughs> yeah, to be I'm friendly and open. And all ears. Oh yeah. Okay. So you and I, because uh, we're old men now, we are in our forties. Uh, I, I, I'm sitting at a desk all day. I do yoga. I do yoga. Uh, I know mm-hmm. you do yoga also. Of I do. Um, I, I'm always. I can't switch off cartoonist brain i just i'm always trying to think of something for a joke Mm. and i keep when the instructor says meet me in child's pose uh, something happens in my brain every time and Mm -hmm. i just keep thinking oh there's something in that was it meet me in child's pose um or meet me in downward dog um it's it it basically means there's a you, you move through a series of positions you 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 do a um not a shavasana what do you call it a um vinyasa which is a flow of moves and then you end in Downward Dog, right? I think, I don't know. Um, meet me in Downward Dog or meet me in Child's Pose. The thing is, the, <laughs> this is a little spicy, it's a bunch of <laughs> Muslims at the call to prayer. Oh. <laughs> They're all in Child's Pose. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> He's off camera. He's gone. I always wondered which one would be the one to do it. That's the one. That's the one where he leaves. I am it's just. A bunch of, a They're all doing child's work because that's part of the prayer movement in, in the Muslim. I know that you're the outspoken political guy, but I'm also a bit of a bleeding heart. I don't like the term <laughs> groups of and followed by a religious descriptor. I don't like I it. Know, I, I know. don't like it. Uh, but it's the yoga instructor at the front of the prayer, of the room, because they're all in prayer mats like yoga mats. And they meet me in child's pose. <laughs> Oh, that's that is pretty funny. I mean, it's kind of funny, but I just thought there's no way anyone's getting away with it. Maybe that's like a ma- not Mad Magazine. Maybe that's even like a, um, you know, like not crap. There's a lot the of realist, maybe. Th- yeah, it's another magazine, the realist. Yeah, or mm. <laughs> or just <laughs> Charlie Hebdo. <laughs> I was gonna, no, I was going to say like or like a Breitbart. <laughs> yeah, I know it's bad. It's I, bad. I understand, like the. Yeah, no, I, I no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, a little bit of news. So um, uh, your boy uh, was in the New Yorker Festival on Sunday. Oh, yeah, I meant to ask. How did, how did it go? You were doing a panel and blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, well, so what it is, we were doing live cartooning, just like this, in fact. We are doing live drawing of cartoons. We are coming up with them on the fly. We had judges. We had Roy Wood Jr. and Chloe Radcliffe. Friend of the as, show, yeah, Roy Wood previous Jr. Previous guest Our and homie. friend of the show. Yeah. Um, uh, Roy Wood Jr. as judges, cartoon judges. Mm-hmm. And had two teams, Victor and and Amy Huang with uh, versus me and Emily Bernstein and it was a funny like and Emily Flake was hosting we were coming up with ideas and jokes we, we did ask fours from the audience it was really really fun we, we did it two nights we did a Saturday and a Sunday this year so you it did our saying. live podcast basically our live podcast cool. for the New Yorker Festival mm. um, without the swears did we make actually that's did, not true did we make money no we didn't no okay uh, we'll send him an invoice um, so yeah the there was actually I lie there was lots of swearing it, was, it got very you know, but there was one joke in it that did pretty well, and I want to know if there's something in it because I could pitch it, mm. and I don't know if doing it live on stage counts as publication. Um, just so anyone knows, you can't sell a cartoon to the New Yorker if it's been published before. So um, what I was thinking was, um, it's it's a turtle at an optometrist's, right? Mm-hmm. Optometrist is just so exhausted, he's so tired, he's looking at his watch, he's just so pissed off. And it's the tortoise, the turtle, just sort of with the eye chart in front of him. And it just says, A, and it's just got dot, 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 just keeps going. He's just, he's not, he's just meant to read from the top to the bottom. And it's, and it's the optometrist being very annoyed with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in my head, I thought, oh, that, that's like the first iteration of a joke, which is always like, all right, throw out your first idea. And so, there's yeah, it does. Something... It feels like there is a joke there. Well, yeah, but I don't think it's that. No, I think no, it's I agree. tortoise at a at a optometrist mm. doing the eye test, 
or something in an optometrist is doing the eye test that's an animal that... Okay, what about this? Yeah. Is it... Is it yeah. uh, what's a nocturnal animal? That's... Owl, an owl. Yeah. Okay. Do you mind turning the lights off? <laughs> Actually, is it an owl? And the eye chart is 40 miles away. <laughs> That could be something. <laughs> it's an owl. Hang on, I'll draw it. <laughs> oh, I love that, Jason. That's very silly. <laughs> yeah. On a chair. Yeah. Yeah, of course. This is the owl's not a crazy person. Oh, you're not drawing. You've... Let's start again. No. I'll I'll um. I'll do it in post. It's fine. Um, owl, owl on the chair, and the. <laughs> Maybe the eye optometrist test is a funny idea because yeah, everyone well, knows it. I think it's a trope. I think it's a trope. Um, one of the official tropes, you know, because mm. there's like a list of kind of official tropes. I think, um, yeah, there's something funny about an owl because that's again, it's captionless. This is my favorite kind of cartoon. It's just a situational thing. And here's what I'm thinking: it's on the page, you know, the page layouts in the New Yorker. Uh -huh. The owl on the chair is on the far bottom left of the page. Oh, that's funny. And then far bottom right of the facing page. Is the optometrist with the eye chart? So, well, well, would it be an owl or an eagle? E the the oh. eyes of an uh, eagle eye, eye of a hawk, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, owl, yeah, owls yeah. are better known for nighttime vision, but also distance. I mean, distance and nighttime vision. Whereas eagles and hawks is the vision. <laughs> can of I eagle. can I pitch something very dumb just so I sure. just don't have to think about it? Anymore. Yeah, it's a dolphin. Go on, underwater doing an eye test. Of course, he's and the doctor is a human. Just yeah, standing there. Yeah. No goggles. <laughs> that is so, That's so dumb. That's so dumb. I love it. Oh my god. That's so dumb. <laughs> That's so stupid. That's funny though. It's very funny. Um God, anything with a dolphin. You and fucking porpoises. I love it. I love a porpoise. I love a mammal. You're a man of porpoise. Man of porpoise. Yeah. Um, is there something in this? Um, the idea of, um, you know, when you say set my alarm for whatever, there's a, there's a game that I learned, a game. There's a thing uh, that at, at parties that I've been to lately, especially in New York, there's something weird about, and again, this is just, this is me being an old man now and young people telling me, hey, can you open your phone and show me your clock, your alarms on your phone? And there's, there's a lot of insight that can be determined uh, from a person's life by yeah, how yeah, many yeah. alarms they have on their yeah, phone. Yeah, they've, got, yeah. they've got 6.45. Come on, you can do it. 6.50, yeah. 6.55, 7 a.m. Like they've got, you know, they've got all these, w and then like random, like 7.54, like weird little random alarms on their phone. Um, that made me think, you know, uh, someone going to bed saying set my alarm for next year. Or like going to bed on November 4th, just like, oh, can you just I set my alarm for after this is all over, you know. Is there something in that? Set my alarm for I, I like four that. years my, from now. The thing I the, – my, my, the first place my mm. mind went was um, historical moment, mm. like – like mm -hmm. Churchill, oh, okay. Churchill's phone. You, I, I, I'm just trying to think of one of those like, S setting you know, D-Day <laughs> had my to... finest hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's Churchill. <laughs> setting alarm for my finest hour. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's scope there. Setting alarm. Yeah, there's something there. Yeah, mm. okay. Um, all right. Well, there's something there. There's something there. I I've forgot got... we were filming because I just yeah. very crisply <laughs> and obviously <laughs> tapped my watch to say we've been going too long. That's okay. <laughs> we'll kill it in post. All right. I think I've got. We've got a lot of. We've got a lot of. Yeah, I think we've got some stuff there. We, there's there's something in that. We've got a batch. I think we'll pitch it. Basically, what we do is pitch each week, and then you know we get vacuum of space silence if it's a no, but we get a maybe or a yes or an okay if the New Yorker wants to buy it. So. We'll pitch the batch. Are we allowed to tell them about the thing? About which? The, the books? books? Um, yeah, why not? So we've got some books coming we've out. We've got some books coming out in 2025. <laughs> that's it. That's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the teaser. But what, but what we're going to be doing, and mm. this is something that um, yeah. if you've listened this far, you are very much target market oh, for yes, this. Absolutely. What we want to do is yep. we want to do this live. Mm. Uh, in your town. Mm. And we want to go to like your favorite bookstore. Mm -hmm. Um Ideally in indie, but we're also friends with the big ones. Yep. Well, we'll find out if we're friends with them. But <laughs> we'll see. Um, 
Uh, so the, the the book is you're not a real dog, dog owner, owner until, until yeah. uh, and you can go to Simon Schuster and um, yeah. just, and Google, just dog Google dog owner books, books Scott Dooley, or whatever. it's on Amazon, it's on Simon Schuster, all that stuff. Right? Um, and yeah, so let us know if you want us to come to you. And so we are well, the the plan is is we're going to be doing a lot more live mm-hmm. uh, things uh, initially in New York, yeah, and then um, when people in New York. Realize it's not very good. We'll come to your <laughs> hick town. <laughs> once we've once we exhausted all, everyone in New York. Yeah. I'm also, also um, yeah, I, I didn't mention that um, there's a magazine. This is, uh, this is germane to the people who like The New Yorker and the things that we do, the cartoons we're doing for The New Yorker. There is a magazine called The New Barker, which is just all dogs. It's The New Yorker, oh but God. dogs. And I just, they just asked me to do a cover. The cover illustration That's for fantastic. the new Barker and a feature on the book. So if you haven't subscribed to the new Barker, one of the great publications of our time. Oh my god! One of my favourite publications of all time. And they have cartoons in there as well uh, by Dave Coverley, which is amazing. And um, yeah, that. So keep an eye if you haven't subscribed to the new Barker and you have a dog. Oh my god, you have to subscribe to it. It's fantastic. So we'll be in there as well. Um, yeah, if we don't get published in the New Yorker, check the new Barker. Uh, <laughs> So is this a bad yeah. title given Bob Barker died last week? Oh, wait, did Bob Barker die? I think so. Did Was it Happy Gilmore? Who did? <laughs> he was attacked Bob by a dog. Oh God, are you serious? No, I don't know if he died. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe we... Uh, listen, yeah. to mm. quote J.D. Vance, you promised you wouldn't fact check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for us. All right, we'll be back again. Oh, do you, if you want to oh. send your thing in. Yeah, yeah, send them in. You know, I mean, check it in the comments of this on Substack or email us. Um, uh, you can just email jasonchatfieldcomedy at gmail.com or hit us up on Instagram <laughs> at Scott Dools. <laughs> at Scott Dools. Yeah, hit me up. I will never see it. But um, I, no, I, I, never I, I have made, I have made, a, uh, I've made a, a definite thing to try mm. to look at that more often. Okay. And uh, so from the... Uh, Tony Hinchcliffe <laughs> Career <laughs> Memorial Studio, the Yankees World Series <laughs> Memorial Studio, the Aaron Judge's Motor Skills Memorial Studios, the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that skilled millionaire! Oh, what a my joke! God. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time. Peace.